Hey guys, I am going to try to do a step-by-step -step for how to install the Dymo uh, label printer <coughs> for Excel so that it prints properly. So to start with, I have a Mac, so I didn't have the CD. Uh, so what I do is go to the Dymo website and download the driver. And you can um, just search for the label writer for Excel. Um, up here and find it and then go to support right there and then you will download the driver for whichever machine you have so I had the Mac so it download it I already have it downloaded and we're good to go so you have to set it up two ways um, you have to do two separate steps I should say so first you have to set up your settings in PayPal so that PayPal knows what printer you're going to be using. So we're going to go to Tools and we're going to do it in Profile. So Profile and Settings. And we go to My Selling Tools. And then we go down to Shipping Preferences and I'm going to click on Update. And this is should display your return address, phone number, etc. So what you want to do is scroll down to U.S. Postal Service Preferences. And I'm not sure what it will say for yours, but we go to Edit and highlight the radio button where it says Label Printer. And on the drop down they don't have the Dymo one that we need. So we're going to use the Zebra TLP3844Z-4. Four by six inches and save. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is when you're actually printing the labels, you're going to need to set up um, and tell the printer what size you need the label. So setting it up in PayPal doesn't mean that the printer knows what you're doing, that's just that PayPal knows what you're doing. So go to multi order shipping and it will open up a separate window. And side note, if you don't have that on your drop down menu, go to All Tools and you can find, um, find it that way. What I've done is I've favorited, and you can, that's when you do the hearts, the ones that I use the most. And then you can sort by your favorites. So those come up first. There's a lot of stuff on here. But the ones that I use the most, I want to see pop up on this drop-down menu. It's kind of just like a personalized drop-down menu. So if you don't see it there, don't worry. You do have it if you're set up with a business. You just need to change your settings a little bit. Okay, so then we're going to go back to multi-order shipping. Now, I do have some orders to ship, but I'm not quite ready to ship them. So I'm going to do this another way and go to Edit settings on that drop down menu. We're going to go to print settings. And in here is how it should look. You want it set up as label printer and the same one that we picked on the other page, Zebra LP2844-Z 4x6. And I choose not to print the packing list, packing slips and receipt because I don't use them and it takes up labels that are expensive and it's I just I don't do it. So I uncheck those. If you want to do it, go for it. You would probably want to print it separately on actual paper, but that's how I choose to do it. So I'm going to press cancel, but you want to hit apply and then OK. And that's pretty much it. Um, when you go into a label uh, and you hit print, you might have to change it again. Just make sure that the drop down settings say 4x6 and change the orientation from profile to landscape and you should be able to print it uh, correctly that way. If you have any questions comment on this video and I will try to help you. Thanks guys.